I make it over that fence? Good freaking morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. I can't really express how excited I am. It's been about three weeks since I've flown. Honestly, it feels like it feels like a kind of not a lifetime. It's it's felt like two, three months since I've flown, but it's literally been three weeks, been super busy. The weather's kind of been kind of shitty. Got down to like 35 degrees, which everyone else in Florida was clearly not doing anything but me. Obviously, I was still doing stuff, just not flying like I wanted to. But today, on the agenda. All right, I believe I gave myself enough takeoff room. So, we should be good to go. Got the backpack dangling between my legs right here. All right, first launch in three weeks. Trees and a fence. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's get it. Wow, I gapped it, but I definitely didn't make it over and I fucked up my prop again. Oh my God, dude, I just gapped that entire fence, fucked up my prop, there goes my whole day. Yeah, we're good, yeah. Oh my God, I literally just said I don't have enough room. Come on, bro, I fucked up my whole netting. My whole day just went to shit. My whole day just went to shit by my, my, my doing. Dude. I cannot believe that just happened. My whole day just went to shit. Oh my God. Take the paramotor back home. Figure out the cage situation. Dude, I've been waiting for this for so long. Oh my gosh. Had a whole day planned out. It is what it is. I'm still going to post this video regardless. I didn't give myself enough takeoff room. And uh, that's what happens when you don't give yourself enough takeoff room. Let me get unstrapped. This is... I can't believe I just did this to myself. I cannot believe this. Lord, I'm sure there's a reason why you wanted to keep me on the ground today. I'm going to take this as a blessing in disguise. Let's see what the damage is. I'm terrified to look. Thankfully this tree is small and I can get it out. I'll slam my foot on the fence. All right. So I destroyed my prop. Shift the cage down here. Hot, obviously. Yep, that is. Yeah. Destroyed the netting right here. All right, so new prop once again. Should have just gone fishing with tire. The damn fence. Um, I'm going to try to prop this guy up and kind of just give you guys an update on basically what happened. So literally, what happened was I had all the space in the world, super, super low winds. I'm talking like two mile an hour, nothing there, super stagnant air. And I gave myself maybe 150 foot to take off in when knowing that there was no wind. I had extra load gear wise on me. I had an extra 30 pounds in my backpack with all my gear, food, protein, all that kind of good stuff. Um, I just, I just literally didn't do my due diligence. This is a user, this is a pilot error. This is user error right now. I could have gone back another 150. I had all the field in the world. Would have even been better off doing a downwind takeoff, like than what just happened. I'm bummed. I ordered all the parts, ordered the new netting. I'm going to have to bend back the cage to the best of my ability. I even had a bracket right next to the fuel tank that bent. So I'm going to have to take off the fuel tank, try to bend that one back. Um, ordered a new prop and a secondary prop. Um, hopefully I never have to use a secondary prop. I'm going to try to set myself up in the best situations possible. I'm so used to taking off in like 8 to 10 mile an hour wind. So I'm off the ground in like, I don't know, I'd say no more than 50 feet, 60 feet sometimes at most. So um, learning lesson. I'm all good. Thankfully I was athletic enough to be able to jump over that damn fence. Um, but I think God had a plan for me today and it was not to be in the sky. So something worse could have happened today. Who knows? I'm going to go inspect all my gear right now. Go fix the cage, get the prop off, get it ready for the new one, check the belt tension. Um, motor's still perfectly fine. I'm just gonna do a big once over on this entire uh, motor. I'm also gonna replace the fuel filter as well. We're about 18 hours on the engine. 
So um, some just much needed maintenance, I guess you could say, even though there's not really an interval for maintenance yet. But um, yeah, guys, honestly, I'm blessed. Things do happen in the sport, even to people that look like nothing could possibly happen. Just wanted to give you guys a little update. I've decided I'd freaking uh, go film the cage real quick before I upload. So I've got this thing as straight as I can get it. You can even see there's a slight curvature, but dude, you wouldn't even believe what this thing looked like. Oh my God, it was, it was so bad. And uh, so you got the motor, obviously, right? And there used to be a screw that was almost touching the gas tank. You can see right in there. It was literally touching the gas tank and pushing into it. Now it's off of it. I was able to bend that part back. Let's see what else. I was able to get, I took all these hoops off. I was able to bend most of it back to kind of configure how I want. The prop's not gonna hit anything. The only concern I had was this. So I tapered it off with some electrical tape and a piece of uh, foam over underneath the electrical tape. That shouldn't hit, even with flexion, even with power coming from the motor, it's not gonna hit the tank. So it, it should be good to go. I'm just waiting on the new hoop prop. That's pretty much it. So, and right before I actually go and edit this video right now, I'm gonna note the hour that I spent inside of the tree trying to get the fucking wing out of the tree. Oh my God, that was the biggest pain in the ass I've had to ever do. I literally was breaking branches left and right, climbing that tree. I was in there for over an hour. As you can see, like I have hives all over my arms from being in the tree. Um, I'm gonna get to work and start fixing this dang thing and we're gonna make some other YouTube videos in the time being, but this is the reason for me posting this because just because things always look like they might be going right, there's always a possibility for it to go wrong. And it also took me an hour to get that damn wing out of the tree. So that's gonna take some thorough inspection, making sure that that entire thing is good. Thankfully it was very, very loose branches. Everything was soft and it was all bristled stuff. So, I mean, it was flimsy. It probably, it can't puncture the wing, but I'm gonna verify and check the entire thing. So we'll catch you guys in the next video. Unfortunately, this is a, it's a good video. It's a good video. It's a learning lesson. I'm still excited about everything, but I was very, very bummed if you saw the GoPro footage as you guys clearly just saw. So we'll catch you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, uh, comment, hit that little bell icon. I appreciate it. And uh, guys, stay blessed and uh, stay safe and definitely put some thought into things before you take some risks. Catch you guys in the next video.